as we're leaving town, we will stop in and grab some gas. And as you can see, the gas in San Felipe is still a pretty good price. It seems to be selling for about 380 at the moment. As you're coming in on the main road to San Felipe, there is a turn here at this large roundabout we call the Glorietta, and it takes you to the airport and south of town. So just turn right here, and you'll be heading out of town on the main road. We're going to follow this for a few miles, and then we'll make another turn at the airport road, which will put us on Highway 5 South, which follows all the way down to Highway 1. As you're leaving town, you'll see the Chevron station on your right. This is the last gas you're going to see before Gazaga Bay. So if you haven't topped off by now, you should really get some gas here, and that will get you all the way down. Actually, from here, you can get to Guerrero Negro on a tank of gas on most vehicles. So definitely fill up here before you leave town. At six miles from the Glorietta, middle of town there and you come to this left hand turn and this is the second half of Highway 5 you can see the signs to Porto Cito, Bay Gonzaga so once you turn here you are on the main highway out of town heading towards Highway 1 so six kilometers or six miles to here and then we'll measure it down to the turn off to the giant cactus. At 16.5 miles, we actually turn into the giant cactus. So when you arrive, as this car is here, this gentleman is going to take $10 off you and allow you to go in. So he has got a little chain across the fence here. He'll normally pull up and have the signs here that tell you all about the place in English and Spanish and we're going to see if he has one of the um, letters. These young ladies are going to go in and check out the place. Unfortunately with two-wheel drive they won't be able to get too far. At this point you're going to find a large parking lot with a sign warning not to go past here in two-wheel drive. At the parking lot there is quite a good walk through a large amount of very good sized cactus. So if you're in two wheel drive and you can't go all the way in, just park up and take the walk and you'll enjoy it. Once you drive past the four wheel drive sign, the road will just meander in. And they used to have a lot of roads, but now there's basically just one little loop you can do. And it's actually pretty hard packed for ways, but at some point you're just going to run into a whole section of soft sand and if you're in two wheel drive that's where you'll have trouble. So we'll, we'll drive in and stop and look at a few of the cactus. As you come around the loop, you'll come to this sign. This points you up the hill to the lookout. So it's always worth a drive up there, it's very interesting. And then you come back down and they have a little small sign that tells you to continue on to the rest of the giant cactus. As you make it to the, the top of the lookout, you get a pretty good view of the valley. Unfortunately, the cactus don't look as big from up here. So once you get up here, you'll see this 
little rock garden somebody has decided to put together. Somebody was a little bored when they were up here, but looks quite interesting. So, turn right at the sign down the bottom and just take the road all the way up. It is actually hard packed, so it's a pretty easy road to get up here. We have a dead cactus. You can get a better idea of the arms, what they're constructed of. You can see they just looks like a, a group of sticks in a bundle and then the cactus meat grows around that. Well, sadly as I drive through here we are seeing more and more dead cactus. In this little area alone there's about four fairly large ones that have gone down. So there's something going on killing the cactus and I'd like to know what it is but I haven't been able to find it out. They all are a little brown at the bottom once they get established but you're seeing the brown spreading up the cactus now and that hasn't been before. They were pretty green all the way up except for the, the trunk down the bottom. You can see this one here, the trunk's brown, but the cactus is pretty brown all the way up. So there's something affecting these and they're just not surviving. On my drive through the park area, I probably saw 20 large dead cactus. And when you see these stop wrong way signs, there is a trail behind them and it goes down more towards the west and it'll loop back but it is definitely a very soft road the start of this one's not too bad but I've been down most of them and they are um, very deep sand we've had to pull a few people out and seen some guys on bikes get themselves stuck so unless there's two or three rigs and you're experienced in sand I would listen to the signs and not go that way so we just met a bunch of people up here from San Felipe. Some of them have been here for their first time and everybody was just amazed at the place. So it's really worth a visit and um, we're going to drive out now and stop at a few more cactus.